Good morning, it's day eight of my guide dog's training here at the Premier Inn Hotel in Worcester. Um, I'm here with Guide Dog Abby. Um, it's currently Thursday the 20 something of July. <laughs> oh, it's, half, it's half six in the morning, so um, I didn't have the best of sleep last night. I'm feeling a bit groggy this morning. Uh, one of the other members on the class has got a cold and I feel like I'm probably starting to get it myself, so... <clears throat> so yeah, I'm not with it today, you know why. Um, but yeah, I hope you've been, been enjoying these videos so far. Um, today we are off out uh, very soon at 7am. Uh, uh, as you all know, we're having a ridiculously hot summer, so it's very warm out there, so we're getting an early walk in. Uh, before it starts getting too hot. So this morning I think uh, we are going to be practicing off curb obstacles. So um, and then I'm not sure about later on in the day. So uh, you'll find out when I do. Uh, so let's go. Okay, so for those who are wondering what an off-curb obstacle is and uh, what we do about it, etc. Um, well, simply, it's when something's blocking the curb. So, uh, well, the path that we're walking on. So it could be, I don't know, overgrown trees, a fallen down tree, um, bins. Uh, normally a, a one, you know, when people have been out and it's put near a lamppost so there's no, no space to get by. Uh, cars, pavement parking is a massive, massive problem, uh, especially outside of London. Obviously, in, in London, it's uh, it's illegal, but as you get outside of London, especially in my hometown, Mansfield, uh, I live near a school, so when it's school time, it's pretty much a free for all. So uh, cars parked everywhere, kids lying everywhere, parents talking everywhere. Uh, yeah, it's a free for all then. So um, cars are often uh, blocking the the pavement. Um, sometimes in in sort of uh, you know where shops are and stuff, there's signs blocking the pavement. So, you know, any anything really that that they're blocking uh, blocking the way that we need to go. Obviously, with a guide dog, um, you you know you need sort of space for sort of one and a half people to to get through. So if there's, if there's not that space, it's going to be very difficult for the dog to guide. So what should happen in that situation is the dog is obviously, as you've heard in previous um, previous videos, uh, I believe it might be um, training day two, where I was talking about how guide dogs will work in straight lines and they will take you around any obstacles that are in the way. Um, so if um, we encounter an obstacle on our route, the dog will obviously of course stop and then it's up to the guide dog owner to then decide what to do from there. Normally we give the dog a, a command or pup to try and find the way. If it still can't find a way around the obstacle on the path you will then go to the curb with the dog and you will have to go onto the road while staying as close as you can to the obstacle that is in the way. Um, and you need to go, you know, obviously around it on the road. So it can be quite dangerous. So as you can appreciate, this is why pavement parking is quite frustrating. Uh, and there's currently a campaign out there uh, by guide dogs to try and uh, and reduce this. It's a difficult one because I understand there's a, you know, drivers out there. It's hard for you because uh, there's the, the roads aren't designed to allow you. To park places, but a lot of the time, it is down to some people just being lazy. You know, they could park another minute down the road, and you know, it, it's just a, it's just an extra minute to walk. So, you know, sometimes it is laziness, but I do understand that sometimes it's very difficult to park at the same time. So, um, but it does cause huge problems for people like myself with a guide dog, where we then have to sort of go in. You know, <laughs> higher heighten the danger levels by having to step into the road, which is obviously quite a scary thing to do when you can't see sometimes. 
but it also causes issues for people with prams, wheelchairs. You know, it's not it's not just us that it causes us a problem for. So um, it, you know, it can be a real issue. So that's what we're doing today because obviously inevit it's inevitable that, but inevitable that we will come across pavement parking or or roadworks or s simply just something else blocking the road. So it's important we practice this, and uh, you know, it's important that we're ready for it when the day comes. So we'll see how Abby copes with that again. Uh, as everything that we do on training, she has already practiced everything with, uh, you know, like this uh, during a, her enhanced training uh, with a guide dog trainer. So, um, you know, she's she she knows what to do, but obviously it's a different situation when you're with a new owner. So we'll uh, we'll see how she gets on. So far, uh, she's had maf massive massive ticks next to all the challenges that she's faced. So. Let's hope today's another good one. Oh, there we go. Good girl. So we're going to cross over this one. Wait. Forward. Quite a wide one, this one. Yep. Straight on. Good girl. Well done. Straight on. Steady. Good girl. Let's get you to SIT there. Sit. Aims good. good. Are you happy with what an off curb obstacle is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so obviously so. something blocking the curb, so um, it's finding a way around it, really. Yeah, it? so it's just get to sit. Sit. Yeah, so it's something that's Wait. blocking off the pavement, that means that you've got to go into the road to be able to yeah. carry on with your straight line. Yep. So the sort of things it can be at home are bin days, cars parked on the pavement, yep. um, road narrow road. gaps, road works, all that sort of thing. Yep. So obviously going in the road is... The, the dangerous thing, mm -hmm. so you don't want to be in the road for very long. Yeah. So if there is, if it's road works and there's a chance of getting assistance, and I would recommend that you always yeah. get that assistance. Yep. Um, because we're doing this today, it's it's very artificial. They're just wooden frames blocking the pavement. Yep. The dogs know what they are, so they don't necessarily treat them quite the same. Yeah. As um, just some little sniff there. No. As they Wait. do, like a car or something. So it's very much an exercise. So it's yep. it's really just to show you the procedure of what to do. Okay. So okay. So when we go around this corner, we've got our first off curb. So we'll uh, yep. carry on. Forward. Go. Steady. Go. Go. So she's already sort of brought it to the side. Yeah. Curb. It's quite a long way off. So what you would do is you would do a check. So because the curbs the the curbs on our right, we'll do a left turn check. Yep. So if you just watch your tail when you slide back. Wait. So do you want me to come the like sort of round? Yes, or? come yeah. round. Yeah. So tap your right okay. leg. Left, 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 That's left, it. left, and left, left. Straight on. Good girl. Straight. So she's very definitely bringing me to the curb. Yeah. She? So yeah, she's already trying to. Yeah. So he's going to encourage her up to it. the curb. Up to the curb. That's it. That's it. Okay. Good. So you know that there's something there now yep. because you've done your check. What you don't want to do is set it off and going straight across the road. No. So the first thing you do is tell her to wait. Wait. Listen to the traffic. Yep. And you're going to pop your right foot into the gutter, almost like blocking her off. Yeah, so in front of her. So. That's it. Wait. Good girl. And in the second, you're going to give her the FOR, and then you're going to just keep up on her shoulder and tell her to keep to in. in. Over. Oh, just yeah, over. okay. Over, yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay. Forward. Right, so over. So over. Shoulders. Over. Over. Okay. Good girl. Straight, straight on. Good girl. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> Good girl. Straight on. That's a very definite, there's something there, Dad. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so just, good. Okay. Good, wait. You've, she's brought you quite close to the obstacle. Should, um, um, do a check again? Or? Yeah, we can yep. do a check, yeah. Wait. Left, 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 left. Straight. No. Okay. <laughs> good girl, to the cab. Good. Good girl. Good. Wait. Okay, foot in the wait. this time. Oh, yep. Sit. Sit. Wait for that. No, you're not for that. Good girl. Wait. Wait. Good 
Forward. Over you go. Over you go. Over. Good girl. There we go, good girl. Straight on. Steady. Good girl. Straight. It's on the right now, to someone's door. Oh. You never know whether she's been here before. Yeah. So already she's taking it to the side curve. Yeah, I can feel her going around, yeah. Yeah, okay, so okay. here you would do a right turn. Right check. Right, good. Right. So she's again, okay. she's brought you really close to it. Yeah, good girl. Kind of, but she's very definite about what she's doing, isn't yeah. she? She's yeah. sort of uh, telling you. So if you just reach forward with your right foot, you feel like just watch you don't trip over that as you come yeah. over. In, in. Abs, in. To the curb. Six. Good girl. That's sort of giving me a bit of space anyway, so that's good. Wait. So this time you'd have the lead in your right hand. Yep. Just slide your right foot back. So is it still forward, but then the yes. in, in. Yeah, it is, yep. yeah. That car's just parking, actually. So. My best for waiting for that. <laughs> there we go, the engine's off now. Wait. I'm just going. Forward, in, 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 straight on. That's brilliant, well Good done. girl. Steady. Good girl, come on, straight. Morning. 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 Good girl, straight on. Up, straight. A little bit of a dog leg here, they think where she'll switch their rounds. Yep. Good girl, find the way. There you go. Good girl. Sit. Good girl. That's good. good. Right, we're heading back towards the car now so you can give us some fuss. Oh, lovely. That was quick. Yeah, you went than I thought. yeah, you went <laughs> Good girl. Hey, yo. Well done. Yeah. You did very she's well. Very yeah, again, it was very confident, a bit yeah. like yesterday with the traffic. Yeah. She's very confident in her own decisions, yeah, which, what is, she's uh, doing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. which is great. Hello. I'll put her in my car. Have you got my keys? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're a good girl. You're a smart girl. So that's off curb obstacles done. Uh, today's going to be quite short and sweet, actually. Um, it's now um, about four o'clock in the afternoon and uh, we was planning on going out and, and doing some buses this uh, this afternoon but unfortunately there's um, been a bit of an issue with the route that we were going to do uh, with the bus service they don't seem to be running uh, as often as we, we thought and obviously we don't want to be stood about um, when it's so hot outside so we're going to be working on that tomorrow instead um, once that's all sorted out so um, buses is going to be tomorrow's video um, and I think we're also going to do a bit of traffic work again tomorrow as well so a bit like um, video video six training day six I think it was um, you know we, we we're going to be working on that a little bit more with probably some changes in there I'm guessing so um, that's tomorrow's plan but today went great um, again it, it's a little bit like all the other days she was uh, very confident in her in her decisions really um, she correctly well obviously first of all she noticed the obstacles in the way um, and she then correctly took me to the curb in order to take it take me around um, the procedure then was for me to just double check that there was something in the way because obviously although this is set up um, when I'm out and about at home I won't know what that is back in the way so I'll need to check first of all just to see if there is a safe route around it uh, rather than having to go on the road um, and also ideally I could do with establishing what it actually is in, in the way um, and then obviously once I know that yes there's definitely uh, something blocking the way um, we'll then proceed and do the off curb maneuver to get to get around the obstacle so um, you know again like I say she, she went straight to the curb she was very confident in that and um, you know, she knew what to do to, to get around there which was uh, really great to see especially in, in such a young dog so um, you know very very happy with that 
Um, some bits were a little bit messy when uh, I got a little bit close to the obstacle, uh, as you've seen on the video. Uh, but, I mean, that wasn't a bad thing, to be fair. It's good to be close to it, because obviously that means you're going to minimise the amount of time that you're actually on the road, which is obviously the, the most important thing. And it also gave me the opportunity to figure out what the obstacle was. So, uh, that wasn't too bad. Obviously, I just had to be a little bit careful to not trip over the little bit of wood at the bottom. But, um, obviously, I wouldn't really have that issue uh, if it was a bin block in the way or anything like that. Uh, and whatever it is, I'd, I still need to figure out what it is so I can get around it safe. So, that was an issue. That was a, probably a good thing, to be fair. So, um, no, very, very pleased with it. She's been, been fantastic again today. Um, and it's going to be the same again tomorrow, so it's going to be a, an early start before it starts getting hot. Tomorrow's going to be the hottest day of the whole training so far, and uh, it's already been pretty warm. So we're obviously making sure we're, we're up nice and early, got got plans in place to, to beat the heat, and um, to make sure the afternoon schedule is uh, you know going to be out of the sun, so inside preferably. Um, so that'll be uh, that should all be good. And then this afternoon we had a, another meeting, we had a, and somebody else in from the Guide Dogs Birmingham team to talk about the My Guide service, uh, so I just want to take this opportunity to tell you all a little bit about that. Um, so the My Guide service, um, anybody that sort of again follows myself on social media uh, will know that uh, I've done a lot of work with them in the past, uh, it's, it's still a, it's a Guide Dog service uh, and it's pretty much a sighted volunteer to support somebody whether they have a dog or whether they don't have a dog uh, to get out and about so for myself uh, my first um, my guide volunteer was with uh, Pete who was uh, actually a partner that with me to be my guide runner uh, we was actually the first partnership um, in the country to be a guide running partnership so uh, and I'm you know, very glad to say that a lot of gone on to do the same since then so for me it was a uh, about getting out and getting out and being able to run again and uh, you know the Nottingham team were amazing. They they um, you know, did, see, did everything they could to find a volunteer and uh, matched me up with Pete. Uh, this was a good few years ago, and now um, you know very proud to say we're very good friends. So uh, that was a, a fantastic partnership. Uh, I had another uh, another my guide volunteer who was there to support me in the gym. So Hudson, my uh, my last guide dog, he guided me to the gym and then. Um, he then went and sat in the office, uh, pretty much lapping up all the attention he could get, whilst uh, myself and the my guide went around the different gym equipment. So, um, and I also had a another my guide volunteer, which was just briefly to work on uh, a new route with, um, you know, with with my, with my dog, so I was familiar with with where I was going to be going. So, um, I've had you know, a lot of benefits from the my guide service. I can highly recommend it for anybody who does need a bit of support out there. Uh, it couldn't be anything whether it's just uh, a bit of support to you know go to the cafe or go to the cinema or learn the learn the route or go swimming gym as I've already mentioned uh, football matches uh, pretty much anything you know just get in touch with guide dogs and they'll uh, assist you in the best way and also for anybody out there uh, who's looking for a volunteering opportunity um, I'm sure Pete and my other my guide volunteers would uh, would say, and I'm sure many other people out there who have who have uh, you know done that voluntary role would say it's also very rewarding. You you know you get to go different places and uh, you're really making a big difference to the person that you're supporting as well. So um, if anyone's looking for a volunteering opportunity, it can only you know, it only has to be a couple of hours a week or a couple of hours every couple of weeks. Um, you know, it's a great thing to get involved with. So uh, I'll leave a link in the description below to the website for more information on the My Guide service and you know where to go to to apply or anything like that. Uh, so that'll be in the description below. And uh, yeah, like I say, it's another fantastic thing that guide dogs offer, and uh, it's a great thing to get involved in. Hey, dinosaur. Yeah. Yeah. What you want the camera do? Yeah. <laughs> You ready? You ready? Get it! Woo! Thank you! You ready? Go! <laughs> You're crazy. Good girl! Oh, playing tug of war, are we? Are we? Who's gonna win?
Yeah. I win. Woo. No, oh, you win. <laughs> anyway, that's it from us today. We're going to chill out for the rest of the evening. Um, just going to play. Take her out to be to be brushed. Um, and we'll see you again. See you. See you later. We will see you again tomorrow for uh, which will be training day nine. Wow. Yeah. Flying through this. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Don't forget if you have any uh, have any questions, leave us a, leave me a comment below, uh, and I'll try and answer them as best as I can. And um, if you're enjoying these, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe where a lot more videos will be coming soon. See you later.